I am Dwango AC. You are here for the SGDQ 2019 Taskbot Block. We have a lot of fun things for you. There's a little bit of housekeeping business because uh, as many years as we've been doing this, and this is actually the 12th GDQ event I've been at between Harvey Relief and all the other ones. It's just crazy how fast it's been. Um, <laughs> So some things have changed. We actually have a case for TaskBot. It's actually nice. This is a new replay device made by someone in our community named Onosaurus. It's a TaskTM32 board. You can find out more about the hardware and a lot of the other things that happen. Go to discord.task.bot for more information about that. Our community will fill you in. Yeah, the We're going that too. Yes, yeah, I'm sure. So this is a real unmodified other than video signal console. This is a uh, US top loader that's been NES RGB modded, but it is otherwise completely generic. We're using a cable connected directly to the controller port, and you're about to see some really fun stuff. With me on the couch, I have GlitchCat7. You'll know him from other random things he plays. A lot of other random things. And even though he's sitting on my left, this is Media Magnet. He is my right-hand man in all things task.bot on the website and maintaining the servers and helping Discord not be disastrous. So he's also a, a casual player, I guess you'd say. Yes, very. OK. <laughs> <laughs> we have three separate things to show you for Tetris. I'm going to get it started with what we call Mode B. And I'm going to let GlitchCat take over from here. GlitchCat7, we are ready to go. Three, two, one, go. All right, well, don't blink. This is going to go really, really quick. This is Mode B. And in this mode, you are given some garbage blocks to start out with. This is being played on level 19, the fastest, technically the fastest speed. And uh, Taskbots is going to be clearing a requisite number of lines here very, very quickly. And uh, you only, you don't have to get everything clear in mode B. You only have to clear the certain number of lines. So this is, I think, the highest height that you could have and the fastest speed, meaning that it is the most optimal for going really, really quickly. And I'm pretty sure, oh, do we, no, yeah, you're clearing. Yeah, he's going to be clearing out everything. And look at that. Really fast. I, I got to tell you, my childhood didn't look like that. <laughs> So the next one we're going to do is fastest to the highest score that can display, which is nine, 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 nine. Uh, how many nines? Anyway. Six right. of them. We're going to turn that off. And here we go. <laughs> I love that fast start, you menu, super fast menuing. So the first thing you're going to see Taskbot do here is stack blocks all the way up to the top. It's going to take the blocks falling down less time to reach the stack, obviously, and so these Tetrises can be completed faster. Now, you might notice that they're using these L pieces, and when they do that, it actually sort of, because of the wraparound, it's taking one off the bottom. So they are getting credit for four lines or a Tetris just by using those L pieces. And uh, some of the RNG here is being manipulated through pause buffering. The RNG in NES Tetris is notoriously really tough to deal with. And so they can kind of get around that by pause buffering a little bit. But um, normally you, you shouldn't be able to get pieces to the extreme left or right side like this very quickly. But um, there's a technique called hyper tapping, which is to tap out each individual input uh, to move for each sequential uh, row. And uh, if you look at the controller, the taskbot is lighting up there. Made by Micro 500. We call this a visualization board. <laughs> You'll see that the uh, the light for the controller is pulsing really quickly. So just imagine an RTA player actually physically pressing all of those, and uh, that's kind of why this is impossible. So the aim here, obviously, is to just get all Tetrises, which would be optimal speed um, you want. <laughs> I love it. You know, I've spent years trying to get this score, and TaskBot's going to do it really quickly. I'd like to take your note to the, the statistics. You'll see that there's a rather substantial imbalance growing. Yeah, those S pieces are just hard to work with in general. So we're coming up on, uh, pretty soon it'll start to flip. Um, the speed will increase a little bit more. That's no trouble for TaskBot. That's going to roll over at... 130 lines, and at that point, it's going to be on level 19, which is the fastest speed that the devs thought humans could deal with, and the pieces will be falling as if you were constantly holding down. Um, there is no hard drop, uh, for example, in this game. It's just holding down 
will make them fall a little bit faster. This game on the NES version does have a, a dev intended kill screen. At level 29, the speed will increase again, um, and most human max outs have to get close to that because they are obviously can't get Tetrises all the time. But since Taskbot can, um, they're going to max it out at a very early level. So here we've got the flip over to 19, and you notice things are moving a little bit faster. <laughs> there have been 39, if, my, if, the, if I did my research correctly, 39 uh, players who have done this score RTA, uh, but certainly not, not this fast. And, and probably even, not at le level 23 either. No, definitely not. There's even a smaller handful of people who have made it past the kill screen. <laughs> yeah, it is possible to play after the kill screen but it requires just extreme precision and hyper-tapping, and even the best can only survive for so long. Yeah, this game is hard. It's ruthless. And that's it. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's a beautiful sight. But we're not done. So real quick on that one, the total high score, because there's a Game Genie code out there, is 1,017,801 is what he actually made it to. Okay. So we're going to move on to something that I like doing every once in a while, which is surprising someone on the couch. This is a time-honored tradition. We sort of did that to Covert Muffin last year for Celeste. It, it ended with a lot of hilarity and a lot of laughter. Uh, so we're going to see how this works out. This is a play around, and here it goes. So it'll look kind of familiar to the, uh, as he builds up, the secret grade in uh, TGM, but it's uh, slightly different. So there's a lot of planning that goes into this, too, <laughs> just to behind the scenes to get, get the right pieces in the right order and make these configurations. Yeah, there's no T-spin in this. I think you, uh, you can T-spin, it just yeah. will give you extra points. Yeah, you just not, yeah, it's not a word of bonus. He's already laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I have spent so much of my life trying to get good at this game, and Taskbot's just making me look like a chump, man. <laughs> <laughs> so credit here goes to Baxter and ACMLM, who are the authors of these two tasks. This particular one is made by Baxter. The previous one you saw was made by ACMLM. Uh, and the mode, and the was mode 9 was also made by, by Baxter. These are... Uh, that was a face, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think that was a face. It was definitely a face. <laughs> <laughs> These are on taskvideos.org. I am the ambassador for Task Videos on site staff and would welcome you to come to taskvideos.org to see more runs just like this. <laughs> when they, they like unnecessarily rotate the pieces on the way down and it's so fast that it just vibrates. <laughs> <laughs> like there's really no need to do that. You know, they can just rotate it once, but you have that extra time, so just more inputs. <laughs> Yep. I also like how the um, all the colors are arranged properly. So not only are the uh, little diagonals lined up, but the colors are all nice, even stripes. <laughs> Wait, don't. It's not safe. You're too close to the tops. <laughs> Does this make you nervous? <laughs> I got I to gotta trust that Taskbot knows what he's doing here. Oh, how's he ever going to get out of this? <laughs> ah! <he's just laughs> Pay attention to the controller. The visualization board made by Micro 500 was going crazy, and that is the name of Baxter. That's the person who made this dual-assisted speedrun. I regret to say that's all the more Tetris we have for you today, but I hope you had your fill. It was great watching this. Stay tuned for Mario Kart Wii next.